How about a fun fact? Well, kind of fun. They say there are no snakes in Hawaii. And I thought the aloha steak couldn't be any more perfect. But all you ophidiophobes, that's the fear of snakes, don't do your happy dance just yet. Technically, there are no native snakes on land. But there is a local species in Hawaiian waters, and it's one of the most venomous out there. Bright yellow and black. Hawaii's yellow-bellied sea snake measures about 30 inches long and swims in the warm coastal waters. It's a relative of the cobra, and its venom is extremely potent. Although it might not hurt that much if it bites, and you'll probably just experience a little swelling, experts warn that you shouldn't shrug it off. Seek medical attention immediately. Luckily, that's a big if. Bites from the yellow-bellied sea snake are so rare that the Waikiki Aquarium couldn't find even one report of anybody in Hawaii being bitten by one. Whew! And old yellow belly will never bite you on land because, while some sea critters enjoy the occasional jaunt out of the water, this one is strictly non-terrestrial. That means he simply can't come on land. And if he does, he can barely move. His belly is so big and tapered that he can't slither on the ground. They might thrash and wiggle to get somewhere, but their bodies are designed for swimming, not slithering. Well, that explains it. But why are there no native land species? That is, snakes that originate from the Hawaiian Islands, born and bred, if you will. For one, Hawaii is remote. It's an archipelago, or a group of islands, and it's a really isolated one. Anywhere from 2,500 to 5,000 miles of ocean separate Hawaii's islands from the nearest landmass. That's too far for most animals to travel. Even the best swimmers can't swim that far. This helps explain why Hawaii has such a wonderful variety of birds, almost 50 known species. Unlike snakes, their ancestors could fly. Once they got to Hawaii, there was no one waiting to gobble them up. <laughs> nice. Especially no snakes. Snakes have such an appetite for birds and their eggs that they threaten avian populations everywhere. That's why Hawaiians are incredibly vigilant about keeping out any snakes who try to visit. Local authorities work hard to capture the ones that somehow made their way into the state. And they strongly discourage people from bringing them by making it illegal and heavily enforced. Hey, how does a $200,000 fine sound? And that's not even the worst of it. It's easy to understand why a snake would want to come to Hawaii. Warm sun, beautiful beaches, all those birds to eat. Not to mention frogs and insects, other snaky delicacies. Mm. But these legless reptiles need help getting there. Since they can't swim, they hitch a ride on a boat or a plane. No, not just in the movies. That and some people bring them intentionally. But why would anyone want to bring one to Hawaii? especially when they threaten the birds and you can get in big trouble for it. Well, some people don't know any better. They think a snake will make a good pet. Others might hope that they'll eat the pesky insects in their gardens. In fact, there's a snake in Hawaii that does just that. But we'll meet him a little later. And of course, you always have those knuckleheads who just want to break the rules. Well, if only they consider how crucial it is to keep snakes out of Hawaii. Take Guam as an example. Invasive snakes devastated the bird population, eating up as many as 10 of the 12 known avian species there. That's over 80%. It's heartbreaking, but Guam is working hard to help their birds recover. But sometimes, the person who brought the snake isn't a criminal. It can happen by accident. In June of 2019, a 20-year-old man hopped on a plane in Florida and headed to Pukalani a nice spot on Hawaii's island of Maui. What he didn't know was that, along with his toothbrush and swimming trunks, his backpack held a secret hitchhiker, a non-venomous southern black racer. Well, sometime before takeoff, this baby – she was a newborn and only about 6 inches long – slithered into the man's backpack. The stowaway lay low all through the airport security screening and actually made it through all those detectors. Then, once she boarded, she kept quiet all through the flight. No one would have ever known about this snake's journey. She would have grown up to 6 feet in length and probably would have filled her gullet with lots of local birds, had it not been for the observant Hawaiian who owned the place where the man was staying. When the tourist reached Pukalani, 
the owner of his vacation rental spotted the baby snake as she slithered out of the backpack to make her escape. He called the police, who then alerted the Department of Native Ecosystem Protection Management. That's a mouthful. And together, they detained the snake overnight, until she could be transported to Honolulu and booked. Oh, that was an accident. But what do you do if you live in Hawaii and your Uncle Joe gives you a snake for your birthday? He was never that great at gift-giving. You don't want your uncle to get in trouble for his ill-advised present, but you also don't want your birthday gift slithering around eating all the tropical birds. Plus, you kind of like the scaly little guy. You've already named him Slim. There's no way you're flushing your friend down the toilet. Don't even think about it. But you're worried how he'll be treated if you turn him in. Snakes are banned in Hawaii. You don't want to see old Slim in handcuffs. He doesn't even have hands. Oh no, what do you do? Well, don't worry. The people at Hawaii's Department of Agriculture have goofy uncles and favorite pets too. That's why they have an amnesty program that lets you turn in any snakes you happen to possess and with no penalty. They'll take good care of Slim. He's not a bad snake, he's just in the wrong place. None of the surrender snakes are ever harmed. And when you miss Slim, you might even be able to visit him at the zoo. If you want further proof that Hawaii doesn't think all snakes are bad, consider this. In 2018, the state's Department of Agriculture invited four brown tree snakes to come and live in Hawaii. So why did they deliberately bring four of these guys into the state? Isn't their job to capture them and keep them out? Yes. And since practice makes perfect, these snakes are working hand-in-hand or, well, together with the DOA, in a big game of hide-and-seek. By hiding and waiting, they help train dogs to sniff them out. After training, these dogs go to airports and other locations where they sniff out hidden snakes, like Slim and the Backpack Baby. (laughs) Cool. But other than stowaways and contraband visitors, there really are no snakes in Hawaii, right? Ah, wrong again. There's one snake that's so common, your chances of seeing him are pretty high. These guys are so tiny that most people mistake them for worms. Think that the Hawaiian blind snake probably came from the Philippines sometime in the 1930s. That's almost 100 years, so they've had plenty of time to spread around. They're all over Hawaii today. These guys are only 6 inches long, they're super skinny, and they eat stuff like ants and termites. So you'll often find them in gardens. And it's no wonder people mistake them for worms. But you won't now. Look closely, and you'll see that they have a nifty little snaky tongue. Oh yeah, like their name implies, they're almost blind. But they can recognize light. Also, they're not venomous, so no danger here. Hawaiian blind snakes are cool but technically not native Hawaiians. So you could still make a case for there being no snakes in the island state, as long as you ignore everything I just told you. So really, what's your chances of seeing a snake in Hawaii now? Wait for it. Slim to none. (laughs) Hey, if you learned something new today, then give the video a like and share it with a friend. And here are some other cool videos I think you'll enjoy. Just click to the left or right, and remember, stay on the bright side of life.